it's my turn. How about this? My turn. Very well. <laughs> yeah. Hear me. <sighs> I suppose I should thank you. My turn. Wake up. Very well. <laughs> it's my turn. Very well. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Leave it to me. How about this? My turn. I'll handle this. My turn. Okay. Hear me. <laughs> I suppose I should thank you. Very well. Leave it to me! How about this? My turn. Very well. <laughs> yeah! Hear me. Appreciate it! Very well. <laughs> there you go. Sophie, dance.
Leave it to me. It's my turn. Here. My turn. <laughs> Leave it to me. My turn. Leave it to me! How about this? My turn. I'll handle this. My turn. <laughs> yeah. Hear me. Appreciate it. It's my turn. Okay. Leave it to me! How about this? Alright, let's keep moving. An A-plus outcome. I feel like I'm going stronger. Success. That should suffice. That was rough. Yeah, but we still won. Only just. What the hell is wrong with you, Eustace Alborea? Why did you sever the link? Don't even think of trying to place the blame on me, Machius Regnitz. You were the one who severed the link. You said you'd cooperate, but you just couldn't do it, could you? You couldn't bring yourself to stoop to the same level as a commoner like me! You nobles truly are beyond redemption! You're utterly hopeless, through and through! Oh, you asinine little... Why can't you see that all of this is born from your own prejudice and narrow-mindedness? That's enough! Please, come... Stay out of this! This is our problem! Why don't we settle this once and for all? Let me show you how much better than you I really am. <laughs> <sighs> Reading. There we go. <sighs> nice work. Rain, are you all right? Hey, are you injured? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. I was so sure we'd killed it, though. Guess I shouldn't have let my guard down. I shouldn't have either. But it's down for good this time. <clears throat> I should administer first aid on that scratch. I'll need you to take off your jacket. Mm, that feels much better. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm happy I was able to put what we learned from Instructor Beatrix's classes to good use. That was last week, right? I'm sorry, Rena. It's our fault that you were injured. Oh, don't worry about it. It wouldn't have happened if I'd been paying more attention. I'm just glad neither of you were hurt. Why are you so... You should rest that shoulder for a while. Yes, absolutely. I'd strongly recommend you fall back from the front line for the time being. Thanks. I will. Alright, let's get moving. We need to tell the Provincial Army about the monster we just defeated. Yeah. I suppose it's not a done deal until we file our report. Aurochs Fort isn't much farther across the canyon. 
We may need to hurry if we wish to be back in Bereahard before nightfall, however. Let's go. Hey, Reen? Huh? What is it? Uh, I just... Uh... Look so in Curie Aeon. What? What did you just do? Nothing. I just wanted to check on your bandage. Good, good. It seems fine. But please try your best to keep your shoulder firm. The less it moves, the better. We don't want your injury getting worse now. Uh, okay.
<sighs> Can't get to sleep? I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for his son born to a commoner. What? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. In other words, I am his bastard son. I had no idea. So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences, but you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. I get that a lot. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. There wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as... abnormal. <laughs> I, uh... don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so... clearly. Well, I owed you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your reputation? That selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah. But for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, it wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. 
Good night, Eusis. Pleasant dreams. Someday.